Dante Russo Nance leaving tomorrow, heading to the Oak Hill Academy in Virginia, which is a very prestigious basketball academy. As I said earlier, 17 year old young St. Kent's man here in Auckland and played for the Tuatara, actually in the Sales Basketball League. Congratulations. When did you find out about all this? Like two, three weeks ago um, was when I first heard about it. Um, yeah, that was the first time we like really got our head around it. And then, yeah, we just started signing away and preparing everything from there. So just talk us through the process of this. Do they do they come to you um, and, and suss you out and put you on a list? Or is it all from your end and your dad's end that you have to apply? I'm really not too sure. My dad... Um, one one day was like, oh, we got a meeting. We got a call this day. Um, I was actually out, so I, um, I was by myself, um, and mum and dad were at home. So I picked up the call, and um, yeah, we kind of had talk with the coaches and um, different people, and um, kind of all worked out from there. So okay. yeah, they kind of came to us. Were, were you looking at, at at other colleges, perhaps, or or high schools? Um, with that, with the were you getting contacted by 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 those sorts of organisations and institutions? Uh, we were just kind of waiting to see what was going to happen for me next year. I was going to finish my St. Kent's um, high school and career in New Zealand, but then this came up and there was just an opportunity that we couldn't um, really pass up. So, yeah. Just to let people know, it's in Virginia. They only take 150, so it's a very elite place. You, do, you, do you still have to do your schooling while you're over there? Uh, yes, I do have to finish schooling. Um, but because I've pretty much almost finished most of my schooling years, I won't have too much classes and stuff like that to do. So. Okay. Do they do they set standards? Because I, I you know I know that they you know that's one of the big things these days in college that you got to pass. You know you got to pass your grades and that. Do they set those standards? Uh, I'm sure they will, but I probably won't find out more about that until I actually get over there. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's kind of just get there. Dante Russo Nance. Um, so you are you are the third of three. So the other two lads, they're good mates of yours. Uh, I don't know Bronson too well, but I've, I've um, I went to NBA Academy with um, Nick Book at the start of the year, so I've um, kind of built connections with him since then. What What is the feeling in your heart about this? Is this the beginning of a dream? Uh, yeah, it's just another step up, um, getting me closer to. Hopefully one day making the NBA. So um, going to the school will just help me get closer to that dream. So yeah. Are you going to grow any bigger? I suppose that's a question for your father, really, isn't it? I mean, you're pretty big at the moment, but do you do you feel like there's more growth in you? Sure, I might have one more growth spur. I'm hoping to grow a bit more because in basketball there's a lot of tall people, and I'm kind of on the shorter scale right now with my height um, at that next level. But yeah, I hope hopefully I hope to grow. Who do you who do you like? Who do you, do you do you model yourself on any specific players or that have influenced you watching them? Uh, I don't really model myself after anyone. I just kind of play my own game. But my favorite basketball player would be Kyrie Irving. Um, I've watched I've watched him since I've been young, and I'm always watching his highlights, watching his games, and I actually support the Brooklyn Nets just because of Kyrie. So yeah. Okay, not because of Sean Marks. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you like about the way that he plays? Uh, just how all his like skills are just so, so like effortless and stuff like that. Like his handles, his shot creating. Um, he just makes it look so easy and smooth on the court. Have you been to Virginia before? No, I haven't been to Virginia, so this will be a yeah something new to me. Something yeah, I bet. Yeah, and and what and does the family will go over or are you there? You know, do they leave you behind and say goodbye at the airport? Uh, my dad will be saying bye at the airport, but mum's gonna come drop me off at um to get me settled in at the school and stuff like that. Okay, oh, I'm gonna imagine <laughs> she leaves. It's gonna be quite hard, isn't it? Because you go. I mean, let's not forget, you're still 17 years old, mate. Yeah, I turned 17 in January. How was playing for the Tuatara? Because you looked really comfortable at that level against the against the big boys. Uh, yeah, I felt like it was much better than last season because I had a year under my belt. I got a bit of experience from last year. Um, and I just felt like my game took a step up from a year ago. So I was able to um, step up a little bit more and um, yeah, taking more of a role in the team. Now, one of the impressive things watching you playing in that Sales League, mate, was your desire to have the ball. 
and your de- and your desire to you know to basically get involved with the game all the time. Has that always been the case? Uh in my younger years, I would say so. But last year, being like a young player coming in, um, I wasn't too confident. I knew what I could do, but being young, it's kind of hard to um, try to take control, um, especially at that high level. But this year, I felt like I, because I've been around most of those pl- players that were in my team this year and the coach, um, I was able to um, see more of a role and um, become more of a point guard or playmaker. One of the things I like seeing on uh, watching the matches, mate, was I love seeing your mates on the sideline there who, I, I don't know who they were, but they looked like a bunch of schoolmates that that maybe played in your basketball team at St. Ken's. Is that is that who they were? Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure a lot of my St. Ken's friends came. Uh, they did come to quite a few of the games, so yeah, um, it was good to have them there to support me and stuff like that. Yeah, how much do you how much practice do you do, man? Uh, I've done a lot of training over the years. I at least try to get one training in every day. If I'm not shooting, I'll be in the gym working on my my upper body, my lower body. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely trying to get get in there at least once or not twice a day. You're walking around with the basketball in your hands the whole time. Uh, I try to put it down a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is so exciting for you, isn't it? Eh? As you say, it's the the start of a dream. What a buzz it would be to see you playing in the NBA. And this school has produced some real stars. I I don't, I don't have to tell you, but just to let the audience know, KD and Carmelo and um, Rajan Rondo and Jerry Stackhouse, amongst others, and they're pretty good names. Yeah, it's definitely um, a lot of talent that's been through that school, and I'm just hoping to add my name to that list one day. So, yeah. How do you stay so humble, mate? Is that what your parents do? Uh, I've kind of been brought around to my mum and dad. Um, they've always told me good values growing up. So, yeah, I've kind of just grown up to be a humble kid. Um, yeah. All the very best. Can you pass the phone to your dad? Yes, he's right here. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm here, Martin. How are you doing? Hey, Sean, how are you doing? I just wanted to conclude this by saying congratulations to you. And to, I don't know your wife's name. I'm sorry, mate. But congratulations to the family. Yeah, what a buzz, mate, eh? Uh, no, it's, it's been uh, it's been a, a long a long ride, but a, 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 an enjoyable ride. Um, I'm, you know, it's gonna be sad to see him go, but I know he's gonna be going to a place with some good history. And um, uh, the, uh, it, like I said, he produces a very good, high caliber um, talent there. So um, yeah, he's just gonna go over there and get polished up, and yeah, hopefully put himself on out there for the next next level. So um, yeah, very proud of him. He's done his dash here, so it's time for him to move on and spread his wing. Yeah, man, and it's just it's just about, you know, getting the opportunity and then let, what, he's got to walk through that door himself, doesn't he? He does. Um, you know, like I said, he's um, 17 to be 18 next year, so, um, yeah, it's time to man up. Um, you, you done, like I said, you've done your dash in New Zealand, you've done the country proud and yourself and the family proud here, so it's time to move on. If you're going to, you know, achieve that ultimate dream, it's time to move on and, like I say, be a man. Now, did you play ball, man? Were you a baller? Yeah, I played here in New Zealand in the um, Conference Basketball League back in the um, late 1990s, um, early 2000s. And, um, yeah, played in the um, NBL uh, for a short stink with the um, Harbor Heat back in 2005, the year Dante was born. So wow. uh, at, at, 30, at 38, 38 years old at the time, I thought it would be um, a good opportunity to be a dad and um, let a younger guy take my spot. So I played about four games and, yeah, called it a day and uh, became a dad slash coach now. Well, look, I, you know, I always, um, you know, I'll, you know, when I inter- in the, ever interview anyone young, I always think, you know, I like, I like to hear the humbleness, I like to hear the desire, the determination. I always say, well, that says to me that he's a well-raised young man, and so congratulations to you and Juanita. Oh, thank you, sir, very much. Uh, uh, yeah, kind words. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. All the very best, and hope to keep in touch with you over there. It's a story that is really inspiring, I think, for every young person in New Zealand that l- loves the sport of basketball. All the very best to all of you. Oh, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. And thank you for your time. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a great day, man. Appreciate it.